Hey viewers, I had a request from one of my viewers on how to disassemble and reassemble a Sax Ferret rear derailleur, and I had one, so I figured, what the heck, let's go for it. Okay, I'm going to start off by removing the little uh, hanger bolt here, and that's pretty simple, there's not much to it. There's like a little uh, washer with like a little hanger part there, and I can either just pry this little cap off, or I can just push this little part up and push it off. And so there's like the little cap here that just kind of presses on. And then there's the little uh, hanger bolt itself, this little hex bolt there. And that's all it is, just kind of goes through that hole there. Not much to it. And so the next part is, I'm going to remove this little cage part here. There's a big flat tip screw here that goes into there. And then there's a little lock nut up in here. And so I can just go ahead and loosen this lock nut up here. Just loosen that uh, from this side, turn it clockwise, or from this side, counterclockwise, that side. And now I go ahead and loosen this screw here. It's just flat tip. And I pull this off here. And don't lose this little lock nut that goes on top of there like that. And notice it goes right between this part and this part. It goes lock nut right between there. And so this part here, there's a spring that goes on there like that. And then I can push this screw out like this. Okay, so there's a, a little screw here. And that's a 7 millimeter. So I can go ahead and loosen that and... Once it's loose, just go ahead and remove this screw there. And looks like there's a little spacer in here. So that's kind of just sitting in there loose between those two uh, cage plates like that. This is still kind of tight, so I'm going to remove this screw here for this pulley. I pull that screw out. So this pulley comes out. Okay, now I want to remove this pulley here, and it's still attached to this uh, plate right here. And so what I need to do is um, kind of s rotate this around, and I might be able to get there's a little lock nut in here. I might be able to get this in here. So it's a 13 millimeter cone wrench. Very not sure if this is going to be thin enough. I can get a little bit and unscrew that a little bit. Okay. Got that. And unscrew this from the plate like that. And then there's a cone on here there's bearings in this pulley here, and so I can unscrew this part right here. Like this. And so there's like a little cone in there. And drop this out. And there's actually another cone there. There's like two cones. And then there's tiny little bearings in here. So I can like clean and lube all these little tiny bearings in there. Don't lose them. Might be able to replace them. And let me see, I got the little cable clamp here. So I can remove the parts for this. Nut. Washer. And then this little part down here pivots on this bolt here. So and then that comes out there like that. And then this comes off of here like this. And so now down to here. And then there's a couple of the high-low 
uh, setting screws. I can remove these. And that looks like about as far as I can readily take it apart. Here's all the parts of the derailleur. Um, I have them all cleaned up and I'm ready to start putting it back together again. Okay, let's start putting it back together and it'll go back together in pretty much the reverse order that we took it apart. So we'll start off with the uh, limiting screws here. Okay, next I'm going to put on this part here, and this part slides onto this here. Notice the curve there, and I'm going to match the curve here with the curve here. And I'm going to use some lubricant. I'm going to use uh, like a wet synthetic chain lube. So I'm just going to put like a little bit down into here, and slide this onto here like this. And so that rotates nice there. And then this here, this has got flats on it here like this, and so it can go either this way or this way. I want it to go this way here, and so that's going to fit through here up like through there. And then I got that little nut here, and so I'll start this nut on by hand here. And then I can use my little nut driver wrench here to tighten this on and it was on there pretty tight so get nice and tight there like that and so that that rotates nice and smoothly like this next I'm going to install the little cable clamp screw there and there's two washers on there one washer is going to go on the outside with the screw and then the other one's going to go on the inside and so it's going to fit through there and there's flats on it so that the uh, hole lines up the one way put that washer on there and then I'll put the nut on there like that and it doesn't need to be tight okay here's the, the little bearings that came out of the pulley there and according to my gauge here they seem to be 1 8 inch in size and there's 15 of them that I found I don't think I lost any but I have some brand new ones here and the 1 8 inch bearings so I'm gonna use those so I have my new bearings here and I'm gonna use uh, marine grease in here to help hold the bearings in place the chain lube oil is just not thick enough to quite hold them in place while I install the bearings so I'll use grease here and then using tweezers I'll just manually insert the bearings into place and fill the race with them and so there's my bearings there and I can slide this part into here like this and it rotates nice and smoothly and then I'll take the cone here and with the cone side face down and screw this into place here down against the bearings and that turns and so now I can mount this into the cage uh, so I have this part here and so there's the larger uh, hole here this and that's threaded there and there's a like a, a nice side of this where it's sort of a, a, a convex side and then there's a concave side here so just a little rougher looking this is going to go to the the rougher side the inside and so I'll thread this into this hole carefully like that and I can even like take the uh, my cone wrench here and go in against that cone there and try to tighten it against the uh, the cage there a little bit which then will like f loosen up the bearings a little bit in there but that's okay because this thing should turn nice and smoothly and that actually does a pretty good job there okay next I want to install the other pulley and so here's the little bushing that goes down in the middle of it and so put like a little bit of uh, the oil down there and a little bit on there and a little bit on the back 
And now there's a, one side plate. Often, uh, actually norm, like with a pulleys like this, they're gonna have a plate on each side, but this only had one. And I looked, and it looks like that is the norm, that there's only one plate on here. So this is gonna go on this side here, and then here's this part of the cage here. This will sit down on top of that. This will sit down on top of here. I'm gonna run the bolt down through here, and it's gonna screw into the other plate on the other side. And I don't want to crank this down quite yet because I need to put this little spacer in here. And so I've got the little uh, spacer bushing here. And so this goes in between the two holes like this. And then I've got this screw here. So that's going to go down through that. And then that's going to screw into the other side there. And so now once I have both of those in place, now I can go ahead and uh, tighten this down here and make sure that the uh, pulley turns and then I want to tighten this uh, screw down here like that and then check to make sure that the pulleys both turn nice and smoothly and they do okay so now I'm ready to attach the cage to the main body here um, the spring here See, it's got the little part here with the, the curly cue at the end. That's going to fit down over here like this so that this uh, spring hits that little screw like that. And so then what I want to do is I want to take a little bit of the uh, uh, bike lube here, the chain lube, and I'll put like a couple drops down into this part here. And then this is going to fit down. So this little part here is going to fit down over there like this. And so that the cage goes like that. So now I'm going to take this screw here and I may put a little bit of oil down in there. I don't think, I don't know if that's a moving part or not, but I'll take this screw here and I'm gonna put this down through the back of the pulley like that. So now I'm gonna take this little lock nut and I'm gonna thread this down onto the screw over on this side here. And I'm gonna screw it part way down, not all the way down at this point. And so now what I'm going to do is uh, line up uh, this screw here with this part here, uh, that little threaded part there. And so that's going to screw up into this hole here. Oop. There. And then start screwing the screw into that. And I need, might need to back off this uh, little lock nut here. Screw that down towards the cage there, and then screw this, tighten this in. Okay, so now that screw is tightened in, looks like about as far as it's going to go here. And the cage is moving nice and smoothly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lock nut, and I'm going to screw it up against the bottom side of this plate here. So I'll get the uh, wrench here. Using my cone wrench, and again, it's a 13 millimeter cone wrench. So tighten that up there, in a place there. And so now the cage moves nice and freely there, like that. And I can spin it around. And so this is the position that's going to be in here like this. So there's it mounted there, and I got a nice spring tension there, and it's nice and solid in place. Now the last little bit, I got the little hanger bolt here. That's going to slide down through this hole here. And I got this little cover here, and then this just kind of snaps down into place over there like that. And then I've got this little uh, washer over here, and it's key. It's got like these little uh, notches. I've got one little notch over there, actually two notches, but it can fit in either uh, direction like this or like this. So depending on how the uh, thing is going to be mounted on the bike, I believe the uh, normal position is going to be like this, so that when it hits the uh, little stop, it stops like that and that's just going to sit in there and then be in place when you actually uh, thread this into the derailleur hanger 
So now that I have the uh, derailleur uh, reassembled here, I do want to lube uh, the various pivot points here. So each of the like the little uh, pivots here, there should be like about eight of them, I think. And so just go ahead and put a drop of oil into there, into each of these pivot points. And then you can go ahead and move the uh, derailleur around, kind of get a, get that oil kind of worked in. And after you kind of get it worked in, go ahead and uh, wipe off any excess. And done. Hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the icon over there. You can subscribe. You see videos that come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page over there. I have my videos categorized on forums. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.